trucks always. Can Before they start, I had to ask you when they blow up your hand and everything in Star Trek, was that like that was CGI, right? No, no, that was a um, prosthetic, prosthetic piece that you just literally like a glove. It was so awesome. Yeah, it was rad. That was so Can you cool. Sit back, Me? Oh yeah, sure. We're ready to go. Oh, we're good. We're good. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for sitting down. With me obviously. Sure. Um, one of the interesting things about this movie is that your characters kind of reflect you in real life. The fact that you're you're, you're new to the business, but you're you know you're obviously mm -hmm. you're doing really well. You're amazing in Star Trek, and Denzel's been in the business for a long time. And just like your character, you're new to the business there, and Denzel's been doing that for a while. What uh, tips did he give you for acting? Like, did he did you learn anything from Denzel? Well, you know, at the end of the day you're making a film and it's a business and you have to go to work, it's work. So it wasn't, it's not the classroom, it's not the time to give, you know, it's not like I would get a sheet every day with tips from Denzel Washington on acting. <laughs> but I did, I was so blessed by just being with him and around him. Right. And I tried to keep my eyes and ears as open as possible and just see what he did and how he did it and how he approached his work. And above and beyond being completely professional, he's, uh, he is a, very, uh, I don't know what the best, he's a spontaneous actor, so he's alive in the moment. So it, uh, to, to play with Denzel, you gotta be ready to go wherever he's gonna go. Right. And that made it fun and challenging and exciting and different every time. You have some amazing stunt scenes in the film, and uh, I was hearing that you did some of your own stunts, uh, more than Denzel, actually, which is kind of cool. Um, what was the scene on the poster right here, obviously? Yeah. Uh, what was actually flying? That was face. actually uh, <laughs> that was so cool. It's so interesting. You know, you read the script and it's like, and cue, you know, serial storm. Serial like, storm. I wonder how it doesn't sound so threatening as serial <laughs> storm or grain storm or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. <laughs> but it, you know, it, it, it's it, what was scary about that and not fun about that. It was not actually the hanging between the two uh, train cars. That was kind of exciting. So that was really you doing. Yeah, that. but the grain was just like after five days of it, because Tony inevitably gets like 9,000 different shots between helicopters and whatever, um, it just pelting and the breathing, and that, that became a little old. So like, are you like afraid of cereal now in real life? Def <laughs> definitely afraid of <laughs> Kashi. You, you walk down the aisle, you see Rice Krispies, you're just, like, you're I like start pissing, just <laughs> pissing my pants. Now, what, what's interesting about this movie is the train itself is a character. Mm -hmm. It's like, like a villain. It's yeah. pretty much like uh, you, you guys and then the train. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, what do you think it was about Tony's direction that made that character, like, that made that villain well, work uh, so well? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's like any, like, Piranha or Jaws right. or Duel or, you know, you have to you have to make dangerous and real and almost like a breathing living thing. You have to anthropomorphize the, this non-living thing, the train. Tony is a graphic artist by, by, you know, his initial vocation was a graphic artist, so he's all about the visual. So the color scheme was important. How he shot it clearly was important. Uh, the sound effects were important. A lot went into creating this beast, what is called the beast, yeah. the 777. And um, that is all to Tony's credit. You know what's amazing about both I mean, both Star Trek and this film is that I think I mean, JJ obviously likes to build sets. He built the Enterprise, and Tony doesn't like to use a lot of CGI as well. How is that for an a being an actor and being able to work on real sets as opposed to just being on green screen? Because Star Trek, I mean, I'm sure it had green screen, but I mean, he really did build the Enterprise, and the trains were real in this movie. Do you find that that's more freeing as an actor to be able to actually work on real sets? I don't know. You know, I think there's something to be said for both. You know, uh, as an actor, you have to use your imagination. That's what half the battle is, you know, right. so I actually don't mind green screen all that much because it's, you just have to play pretend. Mm -hmm. And it's like when you're a kid and you're in the backyard playing, you know, cops and robbers, there are no cops, there are no robbers, and, you know, that's a flower pot, that's not a grenade, so, um, <laughs> but I like both. And, you know, w then walking onto the set of Star Trek with a $3 million, you know, Enterprise And set, lens flares everywhere. <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, or then walking onto, you know, in the middle of Ohio, walking onto a real train going 40 miles an hour down the tracks. So that's a whole experience unto itself as well. Last thing for you, John Cho, I was talking to him. Yeah. He said that you guys messed around and said a lot. Did you really break the chair? when you? Someone, he said you broke the chair <laughs> on the Enterprise. Oh, Cho, you son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> is, that, is that true? It's not, it's not true. He lied to me. Cho. Uh, <laughs> The thing wasn't bolted down, for God's sake. So I, I was, I was. The thing is mammoth. The chair is mammoth. I, right. I got a, you know, I have a small ass. So I was trying to, 
find a way to you know fill the space, and then kind of rocking back and forth, the thing toppled over. A so you did times. fall over. I did. I did. Truth be told. <laughs> All right. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Nice man. to meet you. Pleasure meeting you, buddy. Pleasure. Thanks a lot.